Hello there, my name is Julia Pack. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and today I want to show you how I successfully make an API request to the Rapid API using the header information, right? So like um, the secret access key and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go talk a little bit about my code first. Um, so yes, I am able to successfully make a Rapid API request using the access keys and stuff, right? So like, uh, but I do have a logical error in my code. So like here you'll see like this is how it creates the account, right? It uses the configuration.access. So this is like instead of using the direct quote, like, you know, the uh, string, which is here, right? Like I'm, I've just abstracted this away, right? So uh, yeah, this is the my rapid secret and this is my rapid access. But this is not like a real one, of course. This is the sandbox version. So I could technically show you this, but... Yeah, usually you want to abstract this type of thing away like I've done here, or I think you could use a cloud function, but I think that's a little bit more complicated and it's a other topic for this video, right? Technically, you would want to use a cloud function, I would think, um, or at the very least, you need to be using something like this where it's abstract, right? So I'm going to go back to my rapid payment thing here. So it does create, it does successfully create the customer. Um, and you'll see like it when you know, when I call this function here create customer it's like up here right and um create rapid customer and it's cuz I have like a logical error so it's causing it to create so many accounts so I'm already logged in you know what I'm going to log out right now I'm going to show you guys how this works right so I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in with Google oh uh, uh, uh. and then we're going to check my collect account to see that this actually registers but we are going to log in with this one here. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to go over here and you'll see like I just made this up so I could show you guys that it actually works and functions properly. But yeah, um, so I press the button here. It says thank you for registering. So that means I've registered the account. And it says here that yeah, you'll see uh, you are already registered. Yes. So it tells me I'm already registered because I have that. Uh, it's set to print to the console, right? So, um, yeah, we're going to go over to Rapid Collect. And you'll see here, this is my logical error that I've made. But it does actually register and it does use the API keys properly. So, yeah, you'll see, like, multiple accounts for the same thing. But this wasn't just created. Like, you'll, I could go back here and say this was on December 9th or whatever, right? But um, let's see, this one over here was created a couple minutes ago. So, yeah, that's correct. And there's the email, and there's the time and date, uh, and there's the customer ID, and you can validate that if you need to. I don't know if you can or not, but um, yeah, my code is kind of like it doesn't work as it's as I wanted it to. But I just wanted to show you guys that I can actually make a API request using the header. Um, but yeah, again, I what I've I've done here is I've used like I'm using uh, Flutter Dart, right? So um, and I'm on an iOS simulator, uh, but you'll see here the packages, my pub.dev or my pubspec.yaml. Uh, I am using this rapid AP, this rapid thing package, right? So you could go on pub.dev and search it up and find out information about the package I've used. And that's how I'm basically, you know, making the request to the, with the header in it or the header information in it. So you'll see here, create customer, uh, where is it? Create rapid customer configurations are rapid access. Technically, I could just, like, you know, erase this and put the access key, right? But I'm not going to do that. But, like, you know, you would just put it like that and then put a string in, right, with the rapid access key. But I'm not going to go back. I'm just going to hold on. I'm going to go back here. There. So technically, I could use a string there, but the reality is I wanted to have an abstraction to, uh, you know, this rapid access, right? And this rapid secret. And this is my sandbox. So like I could show you guys this and I'm completely fine because these are the sandbox keys and the sandbox access. Otherwise, you wouldn't really want to show anyone this information. You would want to, uh, like I said, you at the very least, what you do is you abstract it away in the Gitnor. So like you'll see here, my file is grayed out. So like that doesn't get included. Um, but I think a more advanced method is to actually abstract the keys away and like say um, a cloud function, I believe. But like that's a little bit more complicated. You have to, I think, use cloud messaging, Firebase cloud messaging or um, key access. And uh, that's a whole other story. Um, 
so yeah, that's, that's that. But this is a very basic way of abstracting things away so you don't have to show them in your code, right? So have a good day and um, yeah, thanks for listening and I hope I get my swag. <laughs>